I'm Simon Sharma. Bienvenue à Paris, city of love, city of terror, city of revolutionary sensibility. Ripples in the dark. Storm clouds above the Louvre. Tuileries. May we be coarse, because under these trees, in this shady bower, Louis devoured Marie Antoinette. The revolution began in the bedchamber. It was to be Marie Antoinette's final night here in Paris, here on Earth. She was led to the Place de la Concorde to be destroyed. Being here on the Place de la Concorde for a student, a historian of the revolution, is to be in a historical nirvana, a place of bliss, but also of tremendous violence, of grotesque, almost pornographic carnage. It's a billowy October night. The wind breaks on her sweating forehead. It's here that Marie Antoinette lost her head, the head which tumbled into the bloody gutters of Paris, a city which by then had seen its fair share of violence. But a fair share it wasn't, for the share was never fair when the heads fell and the bodies squealed like pigs in the night. Over the last century or so, over two-thirds of the French middle class have been a noble one way or another. To be a noble now meant being a bourgeois with a title. But not for long. to wake up and smell the coffee. The capitalist enterprise was as vigorous, as bloodthirsty, as cutthroat among the nobles, as among their bourgeois counterparts. The whole 40% of the king's population charity, on handouts from the state, hunger and anger, crowds turned into mobs. It was a tough winter, the harvest failed, families starved, even the king felt the pinch, and with it, revolution came. Liberté, equality, fraternité, the impossible, you might say, but isn't that one definition of revolution? A revolution which would result in terror. 1789, but with a greater body count. Terrified? What's your take on terror? It's a strange, nebulous thing, difficult to define. Of course, nowadays we'd simply dial up Twitter or social media, but how do we know what the average Parisian was feeling in those heady days of 1794? Well, we do have some documents and a contemporary Ipsos Mori poll from 1793, the winter of 1793, found that 70% of the French population, especially in Paris, deemed themselves sufficiently terrified for the period to be termed the terror. 8%, however, preferred not to say. Ideas made this place. They fed it, nourished it, sustained it even. It was ideas that brought down a monarchy, ideas that created an alternative, and ideas that broke that alternative, even at the point of making. A 
and ideas are the stuff of history. Could anything be more moving than that? You know, what I tend to do is just, I rear. I really, really, I just rear. Yeah. Yeah. Is, uh, is porn available? <laughs> 